Our next guests know hip hop intimately and in a way the artists themselves don't even know it, okay? They've seen history, they've made history. And aren't we lucky for it? Yes. Joe Conzo from the South Bronx has been taking pictures of all aspects of hip hop for decades. It makes sense then that Joe would fix his lens on our other guest, yeah. Crazy Legs, the man that took the beats of hip hop and almost through osmosis created moves that seemed to defy <laughs> the laws of physics. The b-boy from the Bronx that so many kids on the block tried to emulate, including this kid mm -hmm. right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Please welcome two pioneers in hip hop and icons, okay, from the Bronx, Joe Conzo and Crazy Legs. Great and to have Latino. you both here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're an honorary Puerto house. Rican today, in case yes. you didn't yes. know. Thank you, thank you, yes. thank you. Awesome. This one has been very excited. I'm talking to you about you guys non stop. It's true. It's true. Thank it's you true. for having us. Thank you. It is wonderful to have you. I'm going to start with you first, Joe. Uh, you're like the personal paparazzo <laughs> to hip hop. You were there from the beginning. But what possessed you to pick up a camera? I yeah. just, you know, again, I wasn't that athletic kid growing up or, you know, basketball uh -huh. athletic. I fell in love with photography and my parents, God bless them, supported it. And I was the only kid in the neighborhood with a camera and the rest is history. Do you still have that camera? Yes. <gasps> I mean, that yes. camera's seen things. Yeah. Seen things. It has seen things. It's yeah. seen things, yes. Uh, and, and, and then you started taking photos in the hip hop world, right? Yes. Okay, but let's talk about the, we had a lot of people, people here for the 50th yeah. anniversary of hip hop, mm -hmm. and we talked about the difference between breaking and break dancing. Yeah. When did you first realize that you had a skill, and do you call it breaking or break dancing? Which I, part are you I doing? I call it breaking. Yeah. Uh, break dancing comes from someone outside the culture, so yeah. I just stick to what we came yeah. up with. Uh, I would say 1977, I went to a park jam on the corner of 180th and Cortona Avenue in the Bronx. I had seen breaking before, but now I saw it within the right context yeah. of a, a party, as opposed to my brother, Robert mm -hmm. Colon, like <laughs> throwing himself on the floor in Garfield Street in the Bronx. I'm like, oh, what is he doing? <laughs> but then I, I actually fell in love, and it, it was kind of like, all right, born 66, but came to life in 77 yeah. at this one event where I finally felt like, oh, wow. Like, And this is me analyzing it later. It's like, right. that, that moment, that became my voice. Right. That moment. Before yes. that, what was, what was your observation? Oh. What the kids on the block were doing? We were all trying to, you know, be involved with baseball, boxing, things like that. I was supposed to go to Junior Olympics, but I didn't have the $12 to, to you know, be able to get registered right. for it. So I stayed with hip hop. Yeah. yeah. So then what was the meet cue? How did you guys come together? Yeah. So, I mean, listen, we've known each other 40 plus years. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit older. Than, than well, neither of you is I, really aging, seriously, so... Seriously, yeah. two of you have not aged. So, you know, in, in a lot of my earlier pictures, legs is in the, in the pictures, but in the background, because mm -hmm. I ran with the little bit older crowd. Okay. And it wasn't until maybe 15, 20, 15 years ago, we, we really started bonding, yeah. Yeah. and... We got each other's backs, my That's brother. Oh. Yes. And the rest, the rest, as they say, is history. That's yes. it. So, legs, uh, so how long have you been dancing? Break I've been in? dancing since 77. From since that 77. first day I saw it in the Bronx, I started, I jumped on the floor right there. And I right think there. that's like with any kid who first sees breaking at such a young age, we're so we, we gravitate towards that athleticism, how young that were competitiveness. You? Excuse me? How, how, how young were you at that time? I was 77, you were 11. Like 10 and a half. And yeah. Okay. Right. yeah. And now no. I'm 57. Okay, yeah, that's what I was getting at. I wanted to get to today's I'm age. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm very comfortable with my age. I'm just yes. kidding. So uh, am I. Yeah, and, you, and then, you, so then you hit the stage at Yankee Stadium. Yes. Uh, we have a clip, I think, right? Mm -hmm. uh, from the concert. We Let's do. take a look. Wait for it, I promise. Man, Yankee Stadium. Look at this, huh? It took three months of training just to get to some respectable weight again. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Really? Serious. Yeah, I mean, for agility and all that stuff. What I, you I, can't I, hear is the crowd yeah. goes absolutely wild. And I only got this clip because of Joey. He sent it to me. Joey's the one that oh, said, this, huh? yeah, he's the one that said, do you think we could get legs on the show too? And I was like, you know what? Let me see. Yes! <laughs> have the two of you together. Thank you. Is this really your last dance performance? Yes, I actually do have to get a knee replacement. I and, you know, know, I'm 57 and, and the body isn't what yeah. it used to be, so I have yeah. to be careful. Uh, and, and I have other things that I'm working on, like my festival, sure. uh, Port of Rock Steady, coming to New York the weekend of September 21st mm -hmm. this year. And I'm involved with an amazing tech deal that's going to take the world by storm. Can't awesome. wait. Can't yes. wait. 
The other thing, towards the end of that clip, the last thing you do when you're on stage mm -hmm. is you go to you go up stage and you pull out the Puerto Rican flag. Yes, I had to the pull Puerto out the Puerto Rican, Rican flag. Even that flag. I, you got to educate and re remind people that Latinos were there. Uh, pretty much as close to the beginning as you can be. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we need to make sure that, you know, we're recognized for that. If I had a flag that represented Dominicans mm -hmm. and Cubans and all that stuff, I would have held those two at the yeah. same time. Yeah, because I think it's important that the narrative of hip hop is so, it's yeah. vast. It's, I, even I'm still learning about it. Go ahead. And he was covering one of the first Puerto Ricans in hip hop by documenting Charlie Chase so much. Wow. I mean, Joe, Con the, the story of hip hop cannot be told from the Latino or uh, African American perspective yeah. with, uh, without the images that Joe Conzo has, has created. Uh, if you remove all those images, it would be so difficult to talk about the history of yeah. hip hop. Yeah. Joe, are you in the museum? Which He's museum? In many well, museums. the new one. Which the one? new yes. hip hop museum that's open. So I sit on the board there. Okay. But my work is on permanent display at the Smithsonian, the African American Hello. Museum. Hello. Oh, hold Thank on. Let me you. just pick up that thing. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. <laughs> you know, that's amazing. Yeah. My work can be seen all over. My archives sit in Cornell University's hip hop collection. Yeah. People can go online and look at 10,000 images there. Wow, Joe. Um, I have exhibitions going on yeah. all over. Wall works in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, please, as per me, go knock on Gracie Mansion's door. Yes. My work is hanging in Gracie Mansion. Oh, the new Mansion. exhibit there, yeah. Oh. Yeah. There, okay. and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you happen to be in Montauk for the next week, I have an exhibition in Montauk, and Excuse if you happen me. to be in Detroit this weekend, I have a show up there, and I'll be going to, uh... Amsterdam next month. Yeah, for sure. When I call, when I called him two weeks ago, he said, I'll, "I'll call you later. I'm on the phone with the BBC. They're interviewing me." I said, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> and you took the call while in the interview. I'm sorry. I, mean, I have listen, to talk to when them. You I get so call. When you get that call, you pick it up. Yes. Yeah. So you know, I and clearly there's we're skim we're barely skimming yeah. the surface with all of this, but we've asked a lot of folks who we've had on the sh on the broadcast about hip hop, and. I remember he overhearing people say, oh, it's just a fad. Mm -hmm. mm. oh, yeah. Hip hop would Not never make last. it this far. Mm. To which you Too much say, noise. yeah, to which you say what? I'm glad I listened to my mother and I'm, I'm glad I had the support for yes. my mother when I was, uh, when I first started dancing because yeah. a lot of my ex-girlfriend's mothers <laughs> were, uh, really discouraging me and I'm glad I listened to my mother. That's, That's right. right. Mama yes. knows best. Yes. That's it. Right. Mama knows That's best, right. you know? And what about you? I, listen, Mom, Mama Dukes. I mean, I there was a time period in my life where I was dealing with some personal demons, mm -hmm. and Mom saved all my negatives. Yeah. yeah. And because of her, that's saved right. You have the neg negatives of your of your photos. Yeah. And because of her, I've been I've been to Bulgaria. Yeah. How effing cool is yeah. that? A kid from the South Bronx and been to Bulgaria. Now, did you ask her why she like why she didn't toss him? Because it was the only thing she could save. Yeah. Of me. Because yeah. I was in the streets, homeless, yep. you know, dealing with some yeah. personal dem demons, um, clean and sober now, 32 years. Congrats. And, but, you know, that was her way of holding on to mm. her son. Yeah. yeah. And because of her, I've been able to put this book out, Born in the Bronx. Oh, nice. There it is. So please go online and support. We will, we will support. Now, did you ever want to break, and did you ever want to take pictures? Oh, gosh. Listen. <laughs> ah, that's a good Listen, one. Listen, I dance. Yeah. Okay. I don't break. break. Okay. Okay? You do salsa. I do salsa <laughs> to a point, yeah. but I'm in love with house music and stuff. Oh, but, yeah. But, go ahead, go ahead. But, you know... He tries to take pictures. I've oh, seen no, no, let's get one thing straight. Tries. So here's the thing. He's a I, I'm actually, there's another museum called the National uh, Hip Hop Museum in DC, and mm -hmm. we're talking about doing an exhibit of my photos. Because yes. on my early tours, I've been touring since I was 15, yeah. I have always had a camera as a kid. Yeah. And it's just like behind the scenes photos, I scoop it around on tour buses and stuff like that. So I do have a whole bunch of photos that have never been published. Wow, yeah. look at this. Yeah. They gotta right. come on back then. You steel, can, yeah. Then we'll have the side steel. by side book. We'll have the, we'll have the two coffee table book. Yeah, yeah. Born in my mom and born in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Legs and Joey, thank you both thank so, you. so thank much. You. Awesome. Please awesome. come back and visit. You both are working on incredible yeah. stuff, and we so want to keep tabs. Thanks yes. for making us proud. Contributions thank you. are huge. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.